The next phase of the assessment is going to be passive range of motion for the survival spine. If you watched the previous video, you would have noticed we did active range of motion. Now, active range of motion doesn't really tell you what's wrong. It just tells you if there's a restriction. Because obviously the patient is rotating their neck or flexing, so using the muscles. But also if the joint is restricted, it would also show itself during the test. Whereas passive is more for the integrity of the joints. And ideally, the muscles should be relatively relaxed when you are doing this. So it's more of a joint test when we test passively. Placing fingers either side of the ear. What I'm going to do is control my patient's head and I'm going to slowly rotate them as far as I can to the left, feeling for any restriction. If I get the patient to have full rotation, 80 degrees, that would be relatively normal. If there is a, a restriction or the patient feels some discomfort, then that would be a positive sign for a restriction somewhere within the cervical spine. I will do the same on the other side. Okay, relax. Okay. Okay, come across. You notice that a shoulder is lifting in here. Okay, so as I'm lifting, so sometimes it's good to see something as we are rotating. Sometimes it's more of an apprehension. So let me just do that one again. So I'm going to slowly rotate. Okay, but if there is a restriction in here, which there is a little bit towards the end, then I would indicate some restriction within the joints. From this, I would take the patient into side bending, looking for about 45 degrees, asking for any symptoms left side or even right. If it's the left side is more of a stretch symptom. If it's the right side is more compression. If I'm side bending towards the left like this then that would be more compression on the left but naturally stretching on the right. I can if I want to take the patient in deflection as far as I can. So that's obviously you see stretching the posterior structures like the ligaments and the joint capsules around there. I tend to avoid extension um, in this position because um, I feel sometimes it can just irritate the patient. So the main one really is rotation, side bending and flexion. And that would be the tests known as passive range of motion for the cervical spine.